Okay, so with the turbo jet, the way it works is that it sucks the cold air in with these fans in the front and then pulls it in at a high velocity into the compressor and then the compressor uses fuel injection to heat up the air and since it has more air coming through it forces the hot air out the back into these back fans and then the back fans um, are actually connected by the same shaft to the front fans and so with least spinning due to the air coming out the back it actually provides energy to the front fans to spin to suck air in and the back fans decrease the um, the overall efficiency of the system like it decreases the thrust coming out but at the same time like it makes it um, it makes it more fuel efficient so that's how the turbojet works and then the turbo fan is kind of the same thing like it has the exact same system here in the middle but the big difference is, is this a giant fan on the back and it's co-fans on the back. And so the way it works is that it sucks a ton of air in with this turbo fan. And the cold air goes both into the compressor and through the front fans of the turbojet. And also around the entire turbojet system. And what this does is that it um, increases the thrust because it's more air coming out and also like the velocity of the air speeds up in here and so it increases the thrust and at the same time it um, increases fuel efficiency and makes it more quieter and so that is why this dominates the market for anything like commercial airliners you know um, stuff where you want to be fuel efficient for long distances and then the turbojet is used for stuff like uh, military fighter jets because it it's just more um, smaller and easier to use